Welcome, fellow explorers of history. Today we embark on a captivating journey back to an era where uncharted territories were ripe for conquest. This is the dawn of conquest, exploring the earliest sieges in uncharted territories. Dive with me into the annals of time when human societies were just beginning to take form. As communities grew and resources became coveted, the birth of organized warfare was inevitable. The need to protect, to fortify, gave rise to the earliest settlements surrounded by walls and barriers, a clear demarcation of us and them. The concept of sieges, a military strategy as old as warfare itself, was born out of necessity. When diplomacy failed, when trade disputes turned sour, the last resort was often a show of might. To surround, to starve, to conquer, these were the harsh realities of a world in its infancy, still learning the rules of engagement. And so, with the birth of these fortified settlements, the stage was set for the first recorded siege. The first siege in recorded history takes us back to the ancient city of Jericho. Nestled in the heart of the Near East, this fortified city held a prominent position in the Bronze Age. It was here, as the story goes, that the Israelites, led by Joshua, brought the city walls crashing down with nothing more than faith, a divine intervention, and the thunderous sound of trumpets. The Siege of Jericho is a tale as old as time, deeply rooted in biblical lore. It's a narrative that has been passed down through generations, a testament to the power of faith and the divine. But what does science say about it? Archaeological evidence provides fascinating insights into this ancient event. Excavations have unearthed the remnants of thick imposing walls and a collapsed city structure, suggesting a sudden and violent end to the city's reign. Let's delve into the siege tactics of the time. In an era devoid of advanced weaponry and engineering, sieges required strategic ingenuity and a deep understanding of the opponent's defenses. The Israelites, it said, encircled Jericho for seven days, a psychological warfare tactic designed to instill fear and uncertainty in the inhabitants. On the seventh day they circled the city seven times, trumpets blaring before letting out a mighty war cry. The walls, as the story goes, came tumbling down. The siege of Jericho, whether fact or fable, carries immense significance. It showcases the power of psychological warfare, a tactic still employed in modern military strategies. It also underscores the importance of faith and unity in overcoming seemingly insurmountable obstacles. The fall of Jericho marked an epoch in the history of warfare, setting a precedent for future sieges and conquests. It established the siege as an effective military strategy, a lesson that would shape the course of battles and wars for millennia to come. Following Jericho, the torch of siege warfare was picked up by the Assyrians, masters of ancient military tactics. The Assyrian Empire, which thrived between the 25th and 7th centuries BC, was a powerhouse of the ancient world, largely due to its military prowess. Their strategic brilliance led to the development of advanced siege techniques, allowing them to conquer fortified cities that had previously seemed impregnable. Take, for example, the Siege of Lachish. This was a pivotal moment in Assyrian history, demonstrating their strategic capabilities. The city of Lachish, a stronghold in the Kingdom of Judah, was attacked in 701 BC. The Assyrians, under the leadership of King Sennacherib, managed to breach the city walls and take control. But how did the Assyrians achieve such a feat? Their success lay in their innovative use of siege warfare. They pioneered the use of siege towers, large movable structures that allowed their soldiers to scale city walls. The Assyrian siege towers were often covered in iron plates, offering protection from enemy fire. In addition to these towers, the Assyrians also made use of battering rams. These were essentially large, heavy beams, often capped with a carved ram's head, used to break down city walls or gates. The Assyrians would mount these rams on wheeled platforms, allowing them to be maneuvered into position against enemy fortifications. These techniques were not only highly effective, but also profoundly psychological. The sight of a towering siege engine approaching the city walls, or the sound of a battering ram pounding against the gates, would have been deeply demoralizing for the besieged inhabitants. The Assyrians' use of siege warfare was not just about brute force, it was also about strategy, planning and the skillful application of technology. They understood that to conquer a city one needed more than just soldiers, one needed engineers, architects and tacticians. 
In many ways, the Assyrians were the forefathers of modern military engineering. Their innovative tactics and ruthless efficiency transformed siege warfare from a simple battle of strength into a complex, multifaceted campaign. The Assyrians, with their ruthless efficiency, elevated siege warfare to a brutal art form. From the Assyrians, we move to the Greeks and the legendary Siege of Troy. The tale, as narrated in Homer's epic poem, The Iliad, is one of cunning and deceit. It tells of a ten-year-long siege with the Greeks unable to penetrate the formidable walls of Troy. Then, in a stroke of genius, they construct a massive wooden horse, a supposed gift of surrender, concealing their best warriors within. The Trojans, deceived, bring the horse inside their city walls, leading to their downfall. Archaeological evidence suggests that Troy was more than just a myth. Excavations have unearthed a city with fortified walls, fitting the descriptions in Homer's epic. This lends credibility to the tale and to the existence of Troy. The Trojan horse, whether real or metaphorical, symbolizes the ingenuity and deceptive tactics that can turn the tide in siege warfare. The siege of Troy, whether fact or fiction, remains one of the most iconic sieges in history. From the walls of Jericho to the gates of Troy, the earliest sieges have shaped the course of history. These confrontations, occurring in the dawn of civilization, marked the birth of battle tactics and strategies that would echo throughout the ages. The crumbling walls of Jericho demonstrated the power of psychological warfare, as the blare of trumpets and the march of feet brought a city to its knees. Then, the Assyrians took siege warfare to new heights with their ruthless efficiency and innovative tactics such as the use of siege towers and battering rams. And who could forget the cunning Greeks at the siege of Troy, whose famed Trojan horse showcased the effectiveness of subterfuge and deception in warfare. Each of these pivotal moments in history has left an indelible mark, influencing later military strategies and shaping the world as we know it. As we delve deeper into the annals of history, we see how these early sieges laid the groundwork for the conquests and conflicts of the millennia to follow. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the dawn of conquest. If you've enjoyed this exploration through the annals of siege warfare, please like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments below. Stay tuned for more tales from the past as we continue to explore the vast and fascinating world of history.